It's just a bridge connecting Kangaroo Point and Fortitude Valley, but it's become the Brisbane icon. The Story Bridge opened in July 1940. Users had to pay a toll to cross in the early years. It's always been, uh, since the day it was constructed, a big part of, um, of Brisbane's um, image and history and, and the life of the city. The story of the story began in the 1920s. It was proposed as a way to ease traffic on the Victoria Bridge. The man behind the Sydney Harbour Bridge, John Bradfield, joined the project in 1935 and construction began. It was named after John Douglas Story, a senior and influential public servant who had strongly advocated for the bridge's construction. Brisbane resident Simon Cleary's great-grandfather, Leroy Wilson, was headhunted from Canada to work on the project as Chief Steel Engineer. That was part of um, his journey, it was a journey of migration and uh, a journey which um, ultimately um, uh, resulted in uh, uh, members of my family being born and now living in Brisbane. He's used the story behind the bridge to write a fictional book set during the construction years. Like any enduring stories, there are richnesses and there are layers, there are textures to the story, some which are celebratory and others um, which are, um, are cautionary. The bridge is rarely closed to traffic, but this Sunday, the cars and trucks will be replaced by food vans and bands. More than 60,000 people are registered to attend. The Clem 7 tunnel will be toll-free while the story bridge is closed. Patrick Williams, ABC News, Brisbane.